Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Gott. I wanted to tell all of my kindergartners at Solon Garden School how much I miss you all, and I wanted you to let wanted you to let you know what I've been doing. And I found some of my favorite books uh, that I like to read in kindergarten, and I thought I know you all are at home and you're thinking about stories that we've read in class and. I picked one of my favorites, which is a Berenstein Bear book, and it's The Berenstein Bears Gone Fishing. And I thought about reading this to you, boys and girls, because fishing is something we can do. There's a lot of things that we can't do right now uh, while we're out of school, but for, for these uh, weeks that we are out of school, we can pick some of our favorite books to read, and we can listen to some of our favorite books, we can read to our families and we can have our families read to us just like we did when we were in school. Um, I miss all of you kindergartners and I want to read this book to you because fishing is something that you could do right now um, with a parent or an adult. Um, and so let me let me read this to you all. Boys and girls, I miss you terribly and just remember that we at Soul and Garden School miss you and can't wait, wait to be back with you. This is called, this is called The Berenstain Bears Gone Fishing. The Berenstain Bears Gone Fishing. Papa Bear loved to fish. He fished with a fancy rod and reel. He caught lots of big fish. There's Papa Bear. Brother, sister, and honey love to fish too. They fished with plain poles and lines. They caught lots of little fish. There they are. One day, the cubs went fishing. Papa saw them going. I will go with you, he said. I will show you how to catch big fish. There's Papa Bear. They went down to the pond. Papa fished with his fancy rod and reel. Brother, sister, and honey fished with their plain poles and lines. Hello. I have a bite, called Papa. His rod bent over. It must be a big one, he said. He pulled in his line. It was hard to do. But it turned out to be just an old boot. We have bites too, called brother, sister, and honey. They pulled in their lines. They caught three nice little fish. Hmm, said Papa. He fished some more. He got another bite. His rod bent over again. He pulled in his line. He pulled really hard. He's pulling really hard. But all he caught was an old tire. Oh my goodness. Brother, sister, and honey caught more fish. They caught lots of nice little fish. Grr, said Papa. He grabbed his rod. He threw out his line far, far away. I have another bite, called Papa. It's a big one. He tried to pull in his line, but he could not pull it in. Papa! 
Papa got yanked into the water. He made a big splash. Look, said the cubs, your splash scared a big fish out of the water. Papa and the cubs took the big fish home to Mama. Look what Papa caught, said the cubs. The cubs were proud of their fisherman, Papa. There he is, looking all proud. The end. And boys and girls, remember, think about how frustrated Papa Bear got not being able to catch a fish. But what happens in the end? He catches his fish and he's proud of himself. Think about all the books that you might have at home already that you can read to your family members and then they can read back to you. And just remember, Mrs. Gott misses you all and hopes to see you all soon but until then keep reading fantastic books and just remember that mrs god is proud of each and every one of you at sullivan gardens bye boys and girls i'll have some more books to read to you later see you soon